KCIC is an incubator and an accelerator. We incubate businesses that are good for climate. We are focusing on people with ideas around five uh, sectors. That is agriculture, renewable energy, water, waste management, and commercial forestry. We are a propagation nursery that produces seedling, mainly vegetables. We also do selected fruits like avocado, oranges, mangoes. And uh, we are now specifically in the last two, three years, we've gone into potato seed production where we start the process from here, the primary material that comes from tissue culture. We grow the seedling, we grow the mini tuber and eventually we multiply it into seed. And sometimes we get that challenge of, like for these seedlings, there are many orders that uh, we have and we have not fulfilled because we need to increase the space that we have to be able to supply the market. Uh, Kenya Climate Innovation Centre help me to understand my business. Even when I'm saying I want to grow, I want to produce a hundred acres of uh, seed potatoes, what will it entail? An investor can invest in Grace Rock because we have potential to grow and address ourselves to the other value chains that we are not already in. Therefore, you should come to the summit because you will meet uh, those potential customers. Through the AgriBiz program, we are supporting agri-enterprises through various uh, forms of support, including access to finance. While we've been doing this, we realized access to finance is a key gap in the agri-space. And uh, through the investment that KCSC has made in this sector, we've seen a number of success stories. Tequin has largely contributed in the sustainability and gender through the supply of green energy solutions. In the next five years, we expect to penetrate other markets and hence increase uptake of these products, which will lead to reduction of carbon footprint in the environment. As an investor attending KCIC Investment Summit, we would like to invite you to partner with us and together we will be technology winners. Welcome to Mr. B here in Siokimau. We make the concrete beehive. Of course, we produce honey. And uh, we have gone build honey where we are now in value addition, uh, candles out of the beeswax. We are doing uh, soaps out of the beeswax as well. We have a fantastic body lotion. The Kenya Climate Innovation Center came to us when we had just made a prototype, but we needed to test that prototype in different environments for what we call proof of concept. The Kenya Climate Innovation Center actually funded our proof of concept to the full. So we were able to try out our innovation in 10 counties. Every year we have been doubling the uptick by the market of our concrete beehives and uh, the reports have been awesome. The business now is at the level of scaling up. Our Mr. B Concrete Hives has done a lot of advantages. It is the fact that for every of our hive that you buy, the concrete hive, you have spared a tree from being cut and that has an awesome impact on climate change and on environment and the future. And this is the best time for any investor to come in uh, with their expertise, with their resources, so we can join hands and change the world together from Mr. B because it's a proved opportunity. Apiculture Venture has been in existence for the last five years. Major activities that Apiculture Venture is involved in, one is a hive manufacturing, both modern and traditional, as well as honey processing equipment. Two, we offer training on modern beekeeping. Three, we offer pollination services. Pollination services is critical. 80% of our crops and plants depend on bees for pollination. KCIC started working with us when um, most businesses were really, really struggling. That was during COVID. At first, I felt I was in inadequate, not as a person, but as a company, because I thought my company is too small. And uh, KCIC believed in apiculture and they held our hands through this journey. And of course, sometimes when we think about helping as uh, entrepreneurs, we think about monetary, we think about finances. They haven't stopped working with the Apiculture Venture. We're still getting training opportunities. We're still getting to meet different um, investors. Why should an investor choose to work with Apiculture Venture? Apiculture Venture tagline is save bees, save nature. We are working at saving the nature using bees. So we are looking for impact investors impact in terms of training, impact in terms of, um, of uh, creating awareness in the importance of bees to the environment. So if you're looking at somebody to work with that will create that impact, then I am the right partner. The Green Bees program to date has been able to create uh, over 300 jobs 
Uh, one of the key things around the green program is for us to see how we could be able to create sustainable and decent jobs. To date, we've been able to finance uh, 14 enterprises with a, to a tune of close to 20 million Kenya shillings. Ecovat Solutions, we manufacture local technology of wastewater treatment. We realize that uh, we need to extend this technology to some of the uh, installers that are in market that are installing some of the technologies that are not working. Some of the installers have been installing systems that have contributed even further to pollution. Since last year, when we joined Kenya Climate Innovation Center, they've really played a huge role in terms of the change that we've witnessed as a company and in terms of how we've been able to think and refine our business. At the same time, also, we now switch into manufacturing so that we are able to produce more we are looking forward for investors to come and help us realize this goal. And uh, we're just looking forward just to increase our production and increase uh, our ability to meet the demands that is existing in the market. At Airhub KE, we provide climate smart irrigation solutions for smallholder farmers together with rainwater harvesting uh, systems to be able to help them to be in production throughout the entire year without depending on rain-fed agriculture. We started engaging with Kenya Climate Innovation Center way back. At that time when we were starting, we didn't have all the resources to be able to analyze the market, get to understand the pricing and all that. And now we are well equipped to actually get into the market and, and say this is the product that we offer and this is our target market and this is the pricing model that we have for these farmers. So in the next five years we will want to have expanded our reach. We don't just want to operate within the Kenyan market because climate change is affecting farmers across the globe and hopefully we could get investors who could help us be able to push that vision forward. We're looking for investors that will come and scale our business and help us to be able to make impact to the small-scale farmers within the African space. These enterprises have been worked on by the Kenya Climate Innovation Center and other ecosystem players who have ensured that they are investor ready and we have created a lot of impact working with over 3,500 enterprises since inception. That's why we are calling to various partners to support these particular enterprises and those who we can work with to create a think tank that then provides knowledge through uh, research and knowledge management. Mazi Mobility. We assemble electric motorcycles and we build sustainable charging and swapping infrastructure that enables our customers to exchange batteries that are empty for full ones in under two minutes. The Kenya Climate Innovation Center has been one of our earliest supporters through giving us a proof of concept grant facility that actually enabled us to bring some of the motorcycles that you see here today. Uh, there have been early backers that have given us credibility with investors. So KCIC is doing an excellent job to benefit the local ecosystem and giving local entrepreneurs opportunities that might be out of reach because it's out of pocket um, and enabling them to really push forward their business models and ideas. Investors should invest in mass mobility because we're one of the leading immobility companies on the continent. The East African market is estimated to be about 8.5 billion US dollars. In Kenya alone, we're looking at probably a two to three billion dollar market. In the early stages of immobility, you want to bet on a local player that understands the ecosystem, but also a differentiated business model and company that's taking a different approach to immobility. And we want to showcase the value that, and pride that we can build solutions for Africa by Africans. This summit is going to be an opportunity for everybody. If you are an investor, you are going to find a lot of enterprises that you can invest in. If you are an enterprise that is looking to unlock value and grow your business, you are going to find a lot of opportunities here in terms of potential investors, in terms of customers. At the KCS Investment Summit, we'll be showing practical ways in which that investment can be done.